down to Florida or warmer parts of the country. Michelle joining us now with more on what we can expect temperature wise for today. Well, below average highs for today, Patrick, that puts us back to the upper 40s to near 50 for this afternoon. As we take a look at the current conditions on live city cam, back to dry skies and now 34 degrees. Feels like 29, though. Winds from the west in Providence at about six miles an hour. It'll be another blustery day today, but it'll be a cold wind flowing in rather than that very mild air that we had yesterday uh, during most of the day. Radar is quiet all across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts as we sweep along uh, 195, one of the areas that saw one of the higher rainfall totals for least uh, our viewing area was New Bedford, almost three quarters of an inch of rain. Most of us ended up closer to a quarter of an inch, about a, uh, just under half an inch in uh, Newport. We picked up over an inch of rain, Cape, the islands uh, for Hyannis, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, even Block Island picked up uh, almost an inch of rainfall. So it helped put a little dent in our rainfall deficit. We can use another soaking. It's not in the cards through the Veterans Day weekend, which is good news if you have outdoor plans. 30 in Smithfield right now. It's 34 in Providence. You know, just cold enough in some of our more rural areas to maybe be concerned about a few slippery spots this morning where the roadways, your driveway, maybe your sidewalks are still a little bit damp. So those temperatures get closer to the freezing mark. So be careful here heading out early this morning. Taking a look at satellite and radar, cold front has made it through. Cold air draining down from Canada. You can see some lake effect snow that's stretching across parts of New York and Pennsylvania. We're going to get a few clouds from that, maybe a sprinkle in a spot or two. Morning commute, much colder. Overall looking dry, about 35 to 45. Here's a future cast showing some of those extra clouds passing this morning. This is at 12 o'clock this afternoon, mainly sunny skies. And again, you can see a little blip of green here and there up through uh, eastern Massachusetts. That would be the computer model picking up that sprinkle potential. Later on in the evening and night, we're mostly clear. Chilly and dry overnight tonight. Winds will remain active, and that'll help our temperatures stay in the 30s for the most part for those overnight lows. And then Saturday is another chilly one. We start off with bright skies and sunshine, but the clouds will roll in through the daytime on Saturday. Temperature wise, so by 1 o'clock this afternoon, upper 40s to maybe a few spots hitting that 50 degree mark. Uh, fairly uniform temperatures across the area. Of, uh, as we head into the later evening and overnight, we fall into the 30s, and this is at 11 o'clock at night, low and mid 30s, and we'll stay mostly in that range through the late night hours of your Friday and Saturday. Again, very similar temperature wise will be breezy for tomorrow. The difference will be extra clouds around by the end of the day. So 50 degrees for today headed to those Friday night football games tonight. Blanket and hot cocoa weather, windy and colder temperatures around 40 at 7 o'clock down to 38 at 10 o'clock at night. Now, Saturday night, we've got water fire going on. And while we're looking at an increase in the clouds, it should be dry for water fire. Temperatures uh, will be in the 40s as the sun sets down to about 42 by 10 o'clock. It won't be as cold on Saturday night, only falling to about 38 degrees. So that's good news. Sunday, mix of clouds and sunshine near 54. Warmest day of the weekend. Veterans Day Monday looks dry at 51. Watch what happens Tuesday. Those temperatures low and mid 40s for high. It looks like the coldest air mass of the season coming in early next week with maybe a rain or snow shower in the morning on Tuesday. Maybe signaling a pattern change. We'll be keeping our eye Wednesday night into Thursday. Models kind of all over the place with what happens during that time frame. Some of them developing a coastal storm for our area. Others keeping our weather quiet. So we'll keep you updated on it. Still too early to say with any certainty what will transpire. But we'll keep you updated. You can get the latest future cast throughout the weekend.